We got a dose of reality last time out in episode 3 and it hit us hard, but we're hoping to hit back even harder when we enter a Challenger 80 tournament in Germany in preparation for the Australian Open. Welcome back guys to Fog Gaming. It is the Emma Raducanu career mode here on Australian Open Tennis 2 and how can we describe our first tournament? Pretty good. Up until the last episode, we won round one, we won round two, and then we took on probably our weakest opponent to date, and we somehow bottled it big time. <laughs> we were terrible. Unforced error after unforced error after unforced error. So, very disappointed. We did earn some rank points, though, enough to move us up to 55. So, I think the goal, realistically, let's try and set ourselves a goal. I, I think by the end of the Australian Open, so by the end of January, because considering... There is quite a lot of points available in the Australian Open. I think we should be at least trying to get into the top 50. We want to be in the top 50 players. I think that's what we should be trying to do. Uh, or maybe even overtake Ioana Conta as the second best Brit. That could be possible. So, in terms of Brits, though, let's actually see what the rankings are. So, uh, we're going to go ranking points. And where the hell is Great Britain? Where is Great Britain? United Kingdom, so let's do this, let's see, so why is it not showing up, what What did we hit wrong, what did we, what do, what did we do wrong, so um, let's see, let's do this, 70 players found, 70 players found, where are the players, alright, so in terms of ranking points, who is top, it's Katie Bolter is top, then Ioana Conta, then Emma Raducanu, uh, you got Tate, Tonya Keller in there, Elizabeth, uh, Harriet Dart. So you can see that really <laughs> not a lot of these players are good. Who's this person here? Amy McGregor. Not really good there. Ebony Morrison. I mean, th these are just like also runs. I don't really know why I'm looking at these. I was kind of thinking about maybe trying to get a doubles partner. Who could we ask to be our doubles partner? We want that. We want someone who's half decent, though. Surely. Let me see here. Would would Katie Bolter be our? You know, let's just ask her. Screw her. Let's see if she says yes. Sorry, I don't want to be your double partner right now. Maybe another time. Okay, so there you go. No. All right. Well, we'll not worry about that. She doesn't want to be a partner. That is fair enough. Um, she just doesn't want to be a partner. So, what can we do? What can we do? Katie Bolter not interested. But that's okay. We'll just go it alone. Up next, we like I say, we've got the Challenger 80 tournament. Let's get into it. Let's do this. Um, there is only... Well, there's still four sections, so... There you go. It's still quite a big tournament to win. In the first round, we're playing Kim Kleisters. I didn't know she... We're the number one seed, so I kind of tell you she's a level of players in this tournament. I believe that is Kim Kleisters in there, so... I mean, we should realistically be winning this. Is that... Yeah, it is, so... I mean, she's a Grand Slam winner, but, I mean, she's a Grand Slam winner from, from back in the day. I mean, let's uh, keep it real here. It's been a while since she won anything. And, again, you look at the fatigue, it's very, very high, 62%. Um, we are the better player here. We are the first seed, the number one seed in this tournament. We should be beating Kim Kleisters, and I, I think that we will beat Kim Kleisters. But, you know what? We're playing against a legend here in female tennis, so we'll treat her with respect. But it would be a good scalp for us. We should be winning this tournament. Let, let's make no mistake about it. I want to go all the way, and I intend to go all the way. I mean, it, it is a challenger tournament at the end of the day. If we can't win these, then, you know, I, I would argue that we are not in a good place. But I think we will. Look, I'm excited. Obviously, Challenger. Less games. First to three. Let's get into it. Kim Kleisters. Radicanu. She's chosen heads. And it was heads. Now she wants to receive. So we'll be serving. Uh, well, uh, you know, the thing about the three games is, like, if you, if you choose to serve, if, if you get broke in your second game, then straight away, you know, the person serving is serving for the, the first set, so probably not a good idea to actually, I think there's a big advantage, oh my god, out already, 
we need to stop that. We really need to stop that. But I think there's a big advantage serving here in these three game sets, but for some reason Kim Kleisos didn't want to, so... But what we're going to do is, guys, we're honestly going to try and stop hitting as many unforced errors. That's going to be my plan for this game. And uh, let's see if we can do that. And two unforced errors in the two points. <laughs> Into the net we go. Wow, that's a big winner for Kleisters. And already I was talking about how we should be beating her. She's about to break us in the first set. How did it all go horribly wrong here? And that is not how you start this game. Three unforced errors. Didn't even get a point on the board. We expect it. Kim Kleisters to be an also run in this tournament. Maybe that's not the case. And maybe she's maybe she's here to win it. Maybe she thinks she got Radicanu and she's got the easy draw. I mean that's very possible. Nice. Forcing the unforced error there. Well, I guess it's not an unforced error because we forced it. So, yeah. Anyway, error for Kleisters. And that's an ace. Win predictor. Right now, Kleisters is the favourite. 57%. I mean, how this game started, you probably can't disagree with that, to be honest. Nice. Oh, no, it's not nice. Well, I, I thought we'd won that. <laughs> Got carried away there. I thought we'd won that point. A 24 short rally. I actually thought we'd won that point before we even won it. And it, that came back to haunt us there. We made a mistake and you shouldn't be doing that. We're making a lot of mistakes. That's another unforced error for Kleister. So I think if we keep these rallies long, there is a chance that we can force Kleister into errors as well. So that's what we need to do. Stop making errors and, and force our opponent into errors. I think that's the key here to victory. That was a poor shot. I mean, we literally just lined up that there for, for Kleisters, and she's now one point away from taking a 2 0 lead. But Kleister's again, another shot out. And I believe in this game alone, she's made three unforced errors. And that's been all the points we've collected. Our three points in this game have been unforced Kim Kleister errors. So we're not the only person that can make unforced errors. That's a great return. Which should set up a winner. No, not really. It's down the middle. And then we go straight into the net. Advantage again, Kleisters. That one's out. Really poor opening for us here. Drop shot, is it going to work? It is, because Kim Kleisters has hit that one out and it's going to be deuce again. So we are not giving up here, we want to break back. Rapidly, we want to break back as quickly as possible, and it's an ace. Oh. 
And we'll, we'll challenge that because I don't want to lose the point, but I think that we are, yeah, we've lost that and we have lost the game that comes with it, so. Disappointing, right, come on, let, let's kick on now. First game was a, a, a mistake, a disaster from us, let's uh, prove that we're not going to be like that today. Wow, into the net again. Again, unforced errors. It's, <laughs> it doesn't even look that bad, though, because Kim Kleisos has already got four, so normally we are leading the way easily, but I mean, it's actually been pretty closely contested, these unforced errors in this match. And there you go, that is 30 love and uh, could be another break coming up here. Uh, Kleistos is challenging that. And she's wrong. It was out, so. Point for us. And that's too good, the drop shot. And this is for the first set. Can Kim Kleisters, she's got two set points, can she find one of them? She doesn't need to because we've hit that out and Kim Kleisters takes the opening set in six minutes. <laughs> Insane. Absolutely insane. Eight unforced errors to five. We've not hit a single winner. That's not us. I, I do not know why we're playing so bad. We're, yes, we're hitting less unforced errors technically, but we haven't hit a winner yet. That's in that's incredible. Not to hit a winner is uh, pretty insane at this point. And was just hitting the net. Still looking for a. F wow! <laughs> How are we so far off here? That's insane. That's an incredible miss. 10 5 and unforced errors. And we've yet to get a winner in this entire match. Out. 22% chance of us winning this. I mean, Kim Kleister's is making a lot of mistakes. There's no doubt about that. But we just have not been able to hit one winner yet. So, I don't think Kim Kleister's mistakes alone are, are going to win us this match. We need to start. And that's just too good. We need to start finding some winners. Or else we're not going to win. Drop shot, that could work. Another unforced error for Kleisters. Overhead. Oh, it's been returned and that will do it. Yes, finally. First one out of the game. Took us long enough, but we've got it. And it's Deuce and we have a chance now to break. Can we break early? 
I think we need to, because it was looking like this game could be getting away from us, so... I think that's out, fault, called. Then an ace of the second serve. And there you go, Kleisters then wins the opening game of the second set. Double fault. Things are going from bad to worse. That's better from us. Come on. 30 15. Can we win our first game here? Let's hope so. Nice. Okay. 40 15. Three points in a row. And that is how you win a game, guys. We'll bounce back there. Good stuff, four points in a row. Have we finally woken up? Let's hope so. Finally getting some winners on the board as well. And less unforced errors, so. Beginning to look good for us. Kleister hits that one out. Ah, and that's a winner again for Kleisters. 15 each. An ace. I don't know what we were doing there. Just gifting our points at this point. Running around in circles. 3 6. Look at that. 4 0 in ace count. We need to find some aces. We need to find them quickly. Obviously, we can't find any right now because we're, we're um, against, we're receiving, but next game, then. Oh, what a shot that is. Again, Kim Kleister's too strong, too powerful. And now she's got game point here to go 2 1 up. And that's a fault. We're somehow keeping these in. And then we hit an unforced error, which I'm going to challenge. I don't want to lose the game, but... Yeah, we have lost it. And here we go. We lose this game, guys. We lose the match. Simple as that. Pressure is on. Do not lose this game. Nice, okay, that's better. Just hitting the line, stretching Kleisters from left to right, and then we took advantage. More of that, please. Another forced error. Three points away for losing this. Holy crap, we've <laughs> put it out again. Another unforced error there when it was an easy, easy winner.
Oh, and we found the netting. Wow. Two match points for Kleisters. We need to be perfect here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We've lost with the drop shot. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Didn't see that coming. 3 0, 3 1. That rally was going on forever. I was desperate not to lose it. We're playing some really good shots in there. And in the end, the drop shot. Didn't see it coming. That's a tough one to take. 15 unforced errors. I mean, we hit less unforced errors, but we hit less winners as well. We had less winners than Kleisters. We had no aces either, so um, poor numbers. And we were supposed to come into this tournament trying to get momentum going here, trying to find something to take us into the Australian Open. And we found nothing. And it's back-to-back -back defeats, two defeats in a row. No wonder Katie Bowler doesn't want to be our uh, doubles partner <laughs> playing like that. Absolute mince. Absolute mince. And surely we're going to drop down the rankings because of that. I would have to imagine. Uh, we gained some XP. But uh, money-wise, um, I don't think we'll get anything. I'd be shocked if we get something. Uh, Masarava went on to win that Challenger tournament. We've actually moved up the ranks. I'm not quite sure how. We must have, what did we gain in terms of... Did we gain £520? I believe we might have. Let's check. We gained one ranking point, and that was enough to move us up. And we earned $520. So, yeah. Um, we've moved up to 54 in the world. Congrats, I guess. Um... We have got the Australian Open coming up next, and we're not playing well. That's back-to-back -back defeats. Not quite convinced that we're in a good position going into this, but we'll need to bounce back. We'll need to find a win for somewhere. And um, is that it? Can we get a doubles? Let's see if we can get a doubles partner, honestly. Let's see. Who has to team up with us? Um, should we go with someone lower ranked than us? More likelihood of getting accepted that maybe... Potentially, who are we going to go with? Uh, let's see here. Why don't we go with this? We'll go with this person here, this Sarah O'Dwyer. And, and we'll see if they have any interest, this Irish person. So let's see if they want to team up with us. Sorry, I don't want to be a partner right now. So again, no. Nobody wants to be our doubles partner. They must watch us play and they must be like, you are shit. <laughs> We're not playing with you. We don't want you in our team. So anyway, guys, that is it. Up next, we have the Australian Open. Let's just have a quick look at the draw. Can we look at the draw? Can we see who we've got? Halep. So we've got Halep. And wow, okay, that's not going to be easy. She's uh, 25th in the world. If we can defeat her, then we could be looking at a, a British encounter in the second round, taking on Bolter. Uh, if obviously she's victorious... Uh, you look at the actual draw though, and I mean, we probably got a good section, section two. I'm happy enough with that, but um, yeah, just we need to we need to find something. We need to play better, and we'll see how far we can get. I'm hoping that we can get to at least like third, fourth round. 
But uh, if we play the way we've played in the last two games, then we will not get out the first round. It's as simple as that. Anyway, guys, catch you in the next one. Before game, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully we can get back to winning ways. Till then, though, peace.